Oh yes, it's definitely life size right here. We're talking to Bill Plessinger. You are the creator of this all, right? Yes, I'm the one that built this monstrosity in my front yard. We were just talking about how it's taken some time. You told me that the renderings, all the drawings began in August, but how long did it take to piece this all together? The build itself was about a month. I built most of it in our backyard uh, and I painted it in the backyard because you can get a lot more work done when it's on the ground as opposed to up in the ladder. But uh, I pretty much finished it about two hours ago, just with the touch-ups. <laughs> I know, as soon as we got here, we saw you were still painting, doing all that. Yep. And I was curious, I was like, what material is this? But it's a few things. It's wood and what else? Wood, the support beams are metal. Uh, I got PVC pipe for the cannons. It's got two lights in the front back. The middle section is metal, but most of it is uh, in built-in sections so I could get it up on the, uh, on the ladder so I could get it up in the air. All right, what inspired this? Obviously the love for Star Wars, but you said you went to the first trilogy. Yes, yeah, I was six years old when the first trilogy came out, and I've always been a big fan, and this is something I've been thinking about for quite a few years, and being a Halloween fan as much as I'm a fan of Star Wars, each year I try and pick it up a little bit more, and now it's all come to this. All right, what are you doing for next year? Uh, I think I'm going to build a Death Star. Life size. <laughs> Very cool. If everyone wants to come out here, tell them what street you live on so they can come see it. West Beaumont Road. West Beaumont Road, and you tell me that's going to be up for the next week or two, so you could still come by. We've seen hundreds of people come by and take photos today, so he's going to leave it up for the next week or two. You could come out here. Happy Halloween, everyone. Reporting live here in Columbus, Elise Chingari, NBC4. Yeah, that's incredible. Thanks so much, Elise.